all right guys welcome back to another video all right guys so today i have a video to show you guys how to install the official driver from amd which is 24.12.1 i know i have a couple of videos on my channel showing you guys how to do this but some people have requested me to do a video on this driver and some want me to do different videos on different drivers right so i decided i'm gonna do a video on this install it and the right way to do it show that your legion space is not crashing and after installation your system should be running smoothly and properly after right also one more thing is i know i've seen some videos online showing that lenovo have officially released their drivers but it's the older version far all the way back in may or something like that and earlier in the year so that's still an older driver guys you know what i'm saying so you're still not getting amd flow motion frames too but it's up to you if you want to do it you could go on the chinese website switch to english and then you could download the drivers and install it directly to your device but as i said before you won't be getting the latest features like amd full motion frames 2 and then some of the latest games that came out at the end of the year still might not be running properly on that driver all right so let me just get into it real quick and i'll show you guys how to do this properly on your little legion go so now if you come in here in the patch notes it shows you all the fixes and new games that is supported so in the drones, that's one of them that just came out recently. And if you go down, also show you like all the fixes and stuff like that. And these are well needed because I've experienced a couple of these. So if you come down here, the one that says for war armor right here, experienced this a couple of times. Yeah, guys. So this is a well, a well needed update. You know what I'm saying? So over the period of time, it keeps getting better and better, guys. And that's that's what I like to see. So let me get into it real quick and I'll show you what's going on, guys. All right. So the first thing I like to do first, I like to create a restore port. And just in case if anything happens, I could go back to this point and start over fresh, right? So you go to search, type in restore point, then you hit create, give it a name, hit create, let it do its thing real quick. Once that's done, then yeah. So now go back to the website. And I know guys that I'm late to the party. It's been out for like a week or two already, but it's kind of busy. So I wasn't able to do this. So now you come back here, you can scroll down and it says AMD Journal 24.12 installation package you can come right here and you download this one right here and the next thing i want you guys to download as well you want to download ddu because this safely uninstalled the older driver give you a clean slate so you come in here then you want to whatever you're from if you're from the eu or the us you hit download and then you want to download this as well all right so once that's done you go to your downloads and then you, this is where you can see your ddu and then your downloaded amd driver right so you come in here you click on your ddu then click on this you want to extract all extract and let's do this thing again then extract one more time extract then once you go in here this is your ddu uninstaller so you don't need to open it right now because it's not going to open it might give you like a warning to need to reboot all right so now since you extracted it just gotta remember where it's at so now you just got to go into safe mode guys so go down here go to settings go to windows update go to advanced options go to recovery and then right here it says restart your device change startup settings including starting from this or usb first things first though let's disable your wi-fi just in case if you don't have that auto update thing disable so you don't want it to auto update right so turn it off and then we can restart so now since you want to get your Wi-Fi off and everything, go here and you hit restart. So now you're going to see it's going to tell you if you have an unsaved work, be sure to save before continuing. After restarting, we'll show the screen where you can change your startup settings. Right. So now I restart. So now when you get to this screen right here, you want to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, then startup settings. Then you just hit restart right here. When you get to this screen, so now it's saying to enable safe mode, you got to click four. If you don't have a keyboard, just got to double tap the screen. And then you can do it from there. But since I'm a, I have a keyboard, I just hit four and it's gonna restart into safe mode, guys. So now when you get here, you just gotta go to where you download the DDU, right? Open up your files, go to downloads. So you gotta find the extracted one. So I think it's in here and then right here, guys. Open this up. It's just giving you some stuff right here. Hit okay, close that out when you get right here now so now you gotta select gpu it's gonna auto fill the driver you have right here and then you want to go clean and restart and then let it just do its thing guys it's gonna take a little bit not too long but you're gonna see the words and the time and everything right here is going up and down so let it do a thing 
So now it will restart automatically. All right, so now when you're here, you just gotta change it back to landscape, right? So just go to search, go to settings, go to system, go to display. Right here, you should see portrait right there and you hit keep changes just to double check just to make sure that you did uninstall the previous driver that you have you can go to search you go to device manager when you come here to display adapter right here you'll see microsoft basic display adapter all right so now that you're good right so you can close this out real quick go back there in a minute so now head back to the download files where you download their driver package go to downloads and this is it right here so I double click it, you'll hit yes, let it run, do its thing. It's not gonna get completed and that's what you want guys. So once it's done, you'll see this, oops, something went wrong, close it out. So you come back here, you go to this PC, go to here, and then now this is what you're looking for, AMD folder. So now, that's how you know everything is going properly right now guys. So now, once you could confirm that's there, just close it out. Go back to device manager you're going to open up display adapter then you go to driver then you want to go to update driver browse on my computer then you click right here let me pick from a list of drivers then you hit add disk then you hit browse i'm already here but you would go to this pc here and then you go to amd then you go to amd installer go to packages drivers then display then this file right here and this is how I ended up right here on my first screen I was already here but that's how you end up to this screen right guys so now so you want to click on that file and you want to hit open once you do that yeah okay so now when you come in here you're going to see a bunch of files in here guys but you want to make sure you look for a specific one which is AMD Radiant TM 780M graphics right so now you scroll down till you see it. All right, so once you find AMD Radiant TM 780M graphics, you wanna make sure you select the right one, guys, because if you, if you don't, your games will not be running properly. So make sure you read them properly. There's a lot in here. So once you click on the right one and you get it, you hit next, then you're gonna get this warning right here. Let's hit yes. And then now you just let it do its thing, guys. All right, so now when it's done, you will see this. Windows has successfully updated your driver. You can close that out, close this out as well. So now let's install the adrenaline software, right? So now you go back this PC, SSD, then you go back in the AMD folder, then again. Now you go to packages, drivers, go to display, INF file. Then you're looking for this file right here, guys, which is a B409877. Open that up. So now you're just looking for a CC file. That's the file you can use to install the AMD Adrenaline software. Scroll down right here. You see CC2 underscore install. You want to click on this. Hit yes. So now, just got to wait on this now. Let us do this thing real quick. And now it's installing the AMD Adrenaline software. All right. So how you know it's finished, you're going to see complete. First, it's going to say install. Wait. And you might think it's done because this right here is filled up with all the blue bars but it's not just wait till it say complete and then you can close it out so now that it's completed hit close close that out as well and then hit your system with a restart guys all right so now we're back and up and running let's go to device manager real quick let's see what's going on in here so you go back to display and now you see amd radiant tm 780m close that out so now you can right click let's right click one more time and you see adrenaline software right here open that up all right so now that you're in here just skip this and then now if you see 24 that 12 dot one guys all right so let's go to games real quick and i'll show you that we got amd fluid motion frames 2 still here so come in here amd fluid motion frames 2 and now you also have all those updates and bug fixes that came with this new driver guys right so yeah guys so since i'm here already i'm just going to show you guys some essential steps just to get the best performance out of your system using this new driver and their general software right so first things first um if you guys want to see when AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 is active, you want to make sure you turn it on. You go to Settings, then you go to Preferences, right here, and it, right here it says End Game Overlay. You want to make sure this is on. So this is so that when you boot up the game and you have AMD Fluid Motion Frames on for that game, it will give you a prompt saying, "Oh, it's active right now." So 
you're good. So that's basically what it's saying, right? Next thing is you want to go to performance. And then most of these right here, you could disable them if you're not using them. If you're using the tracker from the general software, you could leave it on. But if you're not, just turn them off. You know what I'm saying? Turn them off. And then the next thing too, you want to make sure you set your VROM to auto so that it, the VROM could adjust by itself automatically for the type of game you're playing so that it could download the right amount of shaders and you're not having any type of issues. Because most people have been having some issues with Warzone and those bigger games that might need more VRAM, right? Especially with the game like Warhammer as well. So turn auto on and then the, and the system will adjust itself for a specific game that you're playing, guys. So make sure you have auto VRAM on so that it could do it by itself and you don't gotta worry about it, guys. The next thing I want you guys to do, is go back to settings right here. Then you go to display. Then where it says GPU scaling, you wanna make sure that's on. And you wanna make sure, depending on what game you're playing, you could turn on integer scaling if you wanna use it depending on what resolution you're paying. So this is basically like a game by game basis. So this right here is, is the overall setting. So you can go in each specific game if you want. So let's go back to game, game in. And then let's say you're playing Helldivers 2. You wanna have integer scaling on for this one, then you could enable it, right? So you could enable it just for this game, depending on what resolution you're playing, right? Okay, remember, integer scaling, you gotta set a low resolution on your system and then upscale it to a higher resolution. You know what I'm saying? So depending on what you're doing, guys. but as I said, GPU scaling is already on already. So if you leave it a global settings default, then it's basically taking the settings from the overall settings that you set the first settings from preferences, right? So that's what it's basically doing. But you can also change it right here as well if you want. But if you leave it a global, it's just taking the overall settings that you set up already from the initial setup that I just showed you guys. As I said before, yeah, set the global. So if you go back here and then go back to display, also you wanna make it full panel as well. Or you could do it for a game by game basis. And as I said, if you turn it into a scaling right here, it will be set for every game. So you might want to set that specifically for each game, whatever game you're playing, and whatever res resolution you're playing. Because the integer scaling is best used when you're playing at a low resolution to upscale it to a higher resolution. You know what I'm saying? So you can leave this off right here and then go back into games and then change it up inside the games instead of under global setting all right so back inside the game so now if you're playing helldivers 2 this way you can enable amd flow motion frames 2 see once you enable it search mode set it out to high and then performance you can set that to quality so now down here is up to you guys if you're trying to balance out your fps you could use radiant chill but once you use this you can't use anti-lag or anything like that right so usually i don't use that for this type of game so it all depends on what game you're playing guys so now if you're not using radiant chill go to radiant and be sharpening and then you can mess with your sharpness and make the game look a little bit better guys right usually it's set around like 70 or 80 around there depending on what game i'm playing and this is good to have on because it gives you a better and sharper image while you're playing while you're playing the game and using amd flow motion frames too right and here i already set this up already but as i said before it's on a global sense if you want to just to make sure you can set up here as well you can set it to full panel which is got it enabled already turn it on you can also mess with your coloring and stuff like that but i don't usually mess with all that stuff so now if you come down here you go to advanced so now when you come down um texture filtering texture filtering you can set that to performance and then surface format optimization, you can enable that as well. I know you guys might have seen this in a ton of my videos, but yeah, so this helps out guys. And also tessellation, you come right here, then you hit override, and then you wanna change this to 2X, right? And that right there I think is the best settings for most games and best central tips that I can show you guys to make your game run as smooth as possible, depending on what game you're playing and stuff like that guys. So. That's the settings I recommend guys. And you can do that for each game if you want, depending on what game you're playing. So do it. it's a game by game basis guys. So check it out for each game and see what's going on. So I have a ton of videos on my channel showing these settings already. If you want to go through those videos and see what's going on and see what games it's best for, then you could go watch those videos and let me know what you think guys. I'll be doing some game tests soon. So I'll drop that video probably by like tomorrow. And you guys can see how this new driver is performing. See so yeah, you guys. So if you have any questions, guys, just let me know what you think down below. Let me know if the, if the driver's been running fine for you and how it's going for you. And yeah, guys. So just drop a comment down below, guys. And let me know what you think. Also hit the like button if you like what I'm posting, guys. And remember to always say, guys, sub channel for more awesome content, guys. 
and remember what I always say health is wealth peace and love I'm out guys thanks for tuning in